Hey, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Are you ready for another project? I am. Spring has sprung. It's 50 degrees today. It's uh, been a miserable uh, February here in Ohio. But um, I think it's over now. I think we're up into the upper 40s or at least mid 40s for the next week or two. Um, it's getting better. So it's time to celebrate. I bought a new camper. I got a 1967 Zero Scotty. And we're going to go pick it up this morning. Come along and enjoy the ride. It's going to be a fun project. And stay with me. Uh, I'll do a whole series on the entire renovation start to finish. Now here we go. Let's go. Hey, so. I was lucky enough to find this uh, this Scotty just about oh, 20 miles from my house. I found a lot of offers uh, on a lot of different vintage camper forums, um, but they were like Weirton, West Virginia, uh, Athens, Ohio, Columbus, uh, one in Indiana. And a couple of them would have been cheaper and maybe as good as shape. Um, probably none of them better. Some of them worse shape. Some of them a lot better price. But then you got the issue of, you know, will the tires even make it home? Um, taking a whole day to get them. And... I'm on my way to get this one, and I'll be home with it in an hour or so. I might stop and get tires on it. I, after I get it out of the hole it's laying in, I'll take a better look at the tires. There happens to be a tire shop five blocks from where the homeowner is that, uh, that I'm buying this thing. I call them, and they have, I think it's 207, 75, 15 trailer tires in stock. 180 bucks out the door, mounted and balanced for two of them. Um, so I might, I'm going to need new tires for it. I know that. I'm going to want, you know, everything like new. Uh, so I might go ahead and do that before I even drag it home. I guess you'll see here in a minute if I stop there. Anyway, see you in a little bit. Hey, so baby's got new shoes. We stopped for lunch. There she sits. We're about wrapped up here and ready to head home. See you in a minute. Okay, she's home safe and sound. Easy to haul. Uh, it was a good easy trip home. I'm glad I got the tires on it. I just felt better hauling it down the interstate. So hang on just a minute and we'll do an inside tour. It's definitely a diamond in the rough, but you stay tuned. It's going to be a beautiful thing when it's done. All right, so it's got a good door, and it's got a good screen door. That's a good start. Um, one reason why I paid what I paid, uh, kind of paid dearly for it, but with the doors and the windows and all the emblems and uh, the original dinette table, uh, there's a lot of things intact that at least are usable. So here she is inside. This is the, uh, uh, what did they call that? Gaucho. Gaucho style, which is, uh, that's supposed to be like a couch. And then it, uh, I'll show you here, it pulls out like that. To become a bed so it's a couch and then comes into a bed double bed almost double bed size and then the dinette also um, the table drops down and the dinette becomes a bed i don't think those are original cushions i'm sure they're not did get the hubcaps uh, that's another plus it's missing a light that goes up there. That's findable and replaceable. Uh, 
the hinges and hardware there. There is a light over here. I'll just check into whether that's original or not. Uh, it's kind of cool that it's got this rounded. This was a bathroom, and it's going to be a bathroom again. They just had these storage containers in here that <laughs> they like so used for drawer, a drawer unit, I guess, for clothing. Uh, but it's going to go back to being a bathroom. I think I gained a hammer, it looks like, down here in the corner. <laughs> oh, get that out of there. There we go. Oh, it's an axe. Uh, oh, and I did discover that in the storage under the bed with the outside access panel, there are leveling jacks in there. Um, so anyway, that's where we're at. I'll see you here in a minute. Okay, so there's the tour. Um, it needs a lot of work. And I paid probably more than I should have for it, but I did because it's got a good door, a good screen door, it's got good windows, it has the emblems, it's got the original uh, tongue jack that works well, uh, it's got uh, the hubcaps I maybe mentioned, um, the original tail lights, the original running lights, and they all work. Uh, you know, if you start adding all those parts up dollar for dollar, it's probably worth every penny of what I paid for it just in pieces parts. So, it's going to be a lot of work. Uh, siding's good on it. Um, obviously, it needs stripped and painted, but not a lot of huge dents or dings or anything. There's one area that's a little dented in, but it, it can be, you know, flattened out and, and used nice. Um... So that's where I'm at with it. I hope to do a video every Friday um, of my progress and an update. So stay with me on this project. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And if you're redoing a camper, um, you can probably learn a lot from all the mess outs I do. So uh, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and stay with me through this project. It's uh, February what 25th. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do with it until the weather breaks, but it is breaking. We're going to have temperatures in the upper 40s and low 50s for the next two weeks and into March. And hopefully March will be a nice month and we can get at it. Uh, I'm going to probably start on the outside as far as making sure everything is sealed and no leaks. And um, actually... I gotta probably take siding off and check plywood. It may be a complete teardown, yet to be determined. Um, it might need all new plywood on the in the walls and roof. Uh, I know there's some bad corners, but you know maybe they can just be replaced and go from there. But um, I guess we'll see. We're gonna find out together. Uh, so. I'll see you next video. Stay with me. Please hit thumbs up and subscribe and we'll do it together. See you next video.